have a uh, little bit different kind of show today on right turn garage tv today we're going to go help out an old friend uh he is easily one of the best mechanics i've ever met in my life that's not even close to a joke this guy has fixed uh wiring harnesses from painless wiring stuff that engineers couldn't fix out the fix out Ugh. figure out he figured it out in his garage that's not even a joke um he is easily one of the well-respected mechanics where i'm from and heck of a good guy well he is uh helping his son that volunteers and does the um wrestlers takes them where they need to go for high school and all this so he needs help getting rid of the bat system on this i think he says about a 06 chevy van which that would be your gen 4 6 liter i believe is what he told me it was so today we're gonna we're gonna hit the old delete button on it and this unfortunately um uh, the to, to be able to do that i'm doing it with h excuse me hp tuners so i got this little module hp bi2 yeah that's all it is i guess there's a two plus now um so we're going to use that our laptop and i'll run through what i know about it and hopefully this all goes great the van starts up and everybody's happy at the end um and you'll need a laptop like i say and you'll have to download i think it's called hp tuners suite s-u-i-t-e something like that and the one for the drivers sorry i don't speak tech i'm just you know I'm just trying to learn it so anyway we're heading out to his house right now to go pick him up so you can take him to the van and so we can get this thing started and the reason why I'm doing all this now, Greg's generally not a really big talker, especially if he knows I'm recording it. So, you know, we, uh, we're just trying to speed things up too, because it's only like 197 degrees out today. So, um, you know, if I do this little entry before, you know, it ought to go way more good. So, stick around and we're going to show you how to delete the vats on an 05 06 any of the gen 4 type chevrolets and gmc's all right so give me just uh i think i'm like five minutes away and then it'll take another five to get there but you know it it's going to be like split split second fast all right so uh give me a few minutes All right, so I had to go and re-download HP Tuners because my, uh, well, I deleted half of it and didn't know that. So whenever I got here, it didn't work and it was only like 97 degrees, so that's good. But what I did, went into HP Tuners and went up here to this little black thing and it reads the vehicle, okay? So what we're doing is are deleting the vat. You have to have your key on, engine off. This is a 06-ish. I mean, she's meant, I mean, meant to haul a bunch of kids to wrestling practice because that's what he uses it for. So, firmware complete, okay. Um, I don't know what else it needs to do here. Read, do you need to read again? I don't know what you need. Okay. Now we're doing this, read entire. This, this, this thing reads a lot, a lot more than I do. So, it's been a warm couple days here in O'Hizzle. That thing says 4.3, it's not a 4.3, isn't that weird? says gen 3 v8 43 v6 and that's what it's reading on the computer who am i to tell it it's not what it is if that's what it's reading but anyway we're letting it read again and it's taking a little bit of time here 
see how it's doing it i just clicked read right and then it started doing something funky so hopefully uh we'll be getting this sucker started momentarily and uh yeah I'm gonna let this thing download so you're not looking at me, looking at a screen, looking at that screen, and you know what? I'm, so it looks like we got like three minutes left. So give me three minutes. We'll be right back. All right. So it took longer than three minutes. You know, we're in the country and all. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but I, I just feel like saying that. So what I did is I clicked on the thing that looks like a fan for this one, and it says. VATS control. So I'm going to click down. It says serial. We're going to click none. And then I believe that's it. So we're going to click none and then we're going to click right vehicle it says show license I'm just gonna have to show license and yeah I have a license I've already purchased them hmm. okay I don't know what that means. Okay, so this is how you do that. <laughs> give me just, give me, give me like a, oops, there goes the phone. Give me a few seconds to figure this uh, puppy out because, uh, yeah, I'm not really, let's just say it's been a long time. So, yeah, we're going to, we're going to just, yeah. Few more minutes maybe three or four to just figure it out all right hold on um so campers if you haven't resynced your thing that plugs in underneath the dash you're going to have to just a little fyi now we're going to program it we went to vats we put none we go to this little thing here and it says show license and it says, which one do you want? We have two credits. So, okay. Are you sure? It cannot be undone. Yes, we are. And then we're going to write entire. Is that right? Right and tire, yes. Boom. And then, hopefully, with a little bit of luck and a hug, it's going to be a big change. So, we got to wait for it. It's a race in the vats. Four minutes, 20 seconds. But don't forget to click right and tire. Um, I made the mistake one time of not doing that and bricked my vehicle, the Trans Am it. It's, yeah, not gooder when you do that. So, don't do that. And rather than me talking for another four minutes, we're just going to let this thing do what it do, and then we're going to hear this baby run, all right? So, let's just wait another... Three minutes and 48, seven seconds, something like that. All right. But that little drop down window I was talking about, hopefully you guys can see it. See where it says, well, it says it right there-ish. I don't want to touch my screen because this one's a touch screen. I know, fancy, right? But you click it, pull it down, it says right and tire. So just give me a few more minutes and hopefully we did something right. All right, kids, it says uh, right complete. So we're gonna close that. And then we're gonna turn it 
turn off the key. And there you have it. She runs. It might be low on oil. We're going to go ahead and just shut her off there. It's got an oil with a thing in it, and it just, you know. So, hope you guys saw that. Sorry, it's kind of crummy looking. But that's the bass. That's how you do it. And... Do we want to save changes? We're going to click yes button. To Greg's van. And we're going to replace it. Yes. Normally you would save your old files for this one. If I ever have to do this one again, I don't want to reprogram where it has bats again. So, that's what we're going to do. And, bada boom, bada bang, da bang. She runs again. So, I hope this was good for you. It was good for me. And this said it was a Gen 3. Um, I thought everything 05, 06, and 07 was Gen 4, but I guess it's however it comes off the assembly line. So, lo and behold, whatever the computer says it is, that's what it is, because it's an 05 model. But she runs again. I'm pretty sure we got some happy campers. And uh, if you guys got any questions about this, you might want to look it up on another one, because... <laughs> I actually, I, I struggled with this sucker, but no, I can really help you. Um, just don't forget to resync your module. That's what this thing is. And you'll see a thing where it says help, and I think it said resync right there. And that's how you add your credits on HP tuners that I just learned, and it didn't really tell me that. I just thought it would be a good thing to do, make it more gooder. So, anyway, she runs, she didn't. Victory, baby. And uh, if you don't mind, guys, just, you know, just one more thing right down there somewhere. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And uh, this was a short and sweet and to the point for you guys. For me, it took me two times in like three hours. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Right Turn Garage TV.